This is Twit. Mattel, a company that uh, makes Barbie dolls, uh, they just won't quit. They're always good at trying to figure out the latest Barbie trends and jumping on them. Uh, the latest is Entrepreneur Barbie. Amber, do I have this right? Oh yes, my. Yes, you do. I know. It's a, uh, you know, this is a, this is a weird article. I just saw it this morning. And when I first read it, I had the same reaction that you just had, which was kind of a sigh. And then I thought, you know what? That's ridiculous. I really need to read the article and dig into this more. Because the truth is, historically, if you think about Barbie, she's always been this character who hasn't necessarily really personified the, a businesswoman, right? And right. we maybe attacked her for that. So I think I want to believe that this is a good move. <laughs> so I'm trying to go with it and understand it. But the interesting thing from a social media standpoint is that entrepreneur Barbie comes with a com with a smartphone. She has her own tablet and she also has a LinkedIn profile. So they're taking it into the social space. I wonder what LinkedIn, you know, there must be some sort of money changing hands in order for entrepreneur Barbie to have a LinkedIn profile. Not that that doesn't make sense. It does. But that's interesting considering that, you know, three-year-old girls are going to be like, ooh, I want a LinkedIn profile now, too. Barbie has one. But yeah, I, I, I guess you can't fault the company for saying, all right, well, this is a thing that, uh, you know, little girls and boys who play with Barbies uh, might, uh, you know, want to uh, strive to be. I can remember however long ago, it was probably a while ago now, that there was the Barbie who said that math is hard, which is now just sort of like this joke that's part of our vernacular. I mean, I remember that started with a Barbie doll and, it, you know, a bunch of people got up in arms about the fact that it's like you're teaching girls that math is hard and then they're just going to think that they're not good at math and they're not going to achieve goals that they're totally capable of achieving. So, sure, entrepreneur yeah. Barbie. Look at this, though. Uh, for our audio listeners, we're looking at a photo of a bunch of different Barbies, you know, different colored hair, blah, 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 and they're in a, a variety of... I don't know, outfits that I guess can be part of entrepreneurship. Sure. Okay, they look pretty put together. <laughs> and then there's a hashtag, unapologetic, which is a little bit strange to me because it's like, what are they? I didn't think they were apologizing. Are they unapologetic for being go-getters? I don't know what that means. That part is a little weird, the hashtag. Yeah, I think it's unapologetic for being smart. I don't know. The whole thing is weird. I, don't, I really don't understand that piece of uh, the puzzle here. But... Uh, uh, yeah, you know, she's she's quite fancy, this uh, entrepreneur Barbie. You know, as an entrepreneur, I'm not sure you, like right now, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd ever have time to look as good as she does, but maybe yeah, no I'm kidding. just jealous. Yeah, Sarah. well, you know, you've seen my hair situation today. I mean, who's got the time? <laughs> real Who busy time? <laughs> real, real busy people look like they're busy. Uh, all right, well, entrepreneur Barbie. I Amber, I, I had a Barbie doll collection when I was younger. Um, I always ended up cutting their hair and then... <laughs> it w didn't look good, and then I would just be like, Ugh, well, she's ruined, because of course her hair doesn't grow back. So that's my little story, but, my Barbie well, story. You know what's really interesting about this story is, is the article and uh, a stat in the article, which I think may surprise some people. And this may be one of the reasons they decided to come out with Entrepreneur Barbie. Barbie is, if you look at uh, one of the paragraphs from the Today.com article, it says, since the 1990s, the increase in the number of female-owned businesses has far outpaced the growth of those owned by men, according to a Forbes report. And 41% of women are now their family's primary breadwinners. Well, that is a significant change over the past few decades since I was playing with Barbies. I mean, that's a sure. you know, very absolutely. significant change. So I think in that sense, it makes sense. It does. It Yes, absolutely. It does. It makes sense. We're just living in different times now. Different times. Different, different times. Totally different Evolving times. times. Times aren't yes. so different. They're, they're just getting more unapologetic. <laughs>